gonna be out today? Hi. Welcome back. The last few weeks I have been tired, and last week was no exception. I had to change a couple things around, and I will let you know what happened. Monday, I had some weights, and all sorts of crazy stuff. These pause squats... Flipping hard. They're heavy, and they hurt. But I felt pretty good on Monday, surprisingly. And then Tuesday... I was flat and tired again. <laughs> it might have been one of the worst days of pole vault I had. My legs just didn't move. They felt tired. It went terrible. It was frustrating. After such a good meet last weekend, just having another crappy practice. So at the end of the day, I sat down with Caroline, and we decided to relook at my training and adjust and try, try to get a new game plan. And we're still working on it. Even last weekend, I got I ran into Trevor Berry, who is a world-class high jumper. He got bronze medal at the World Outdoor Championships a few years ago, and he just goes, "Sean, you're not in college anymore. You don't need to do a meet every weekend. You need to take a weekend off." So that's what I did. <laughs> I decided not to do a meet this weekend, and <clears throat> as I'm making this vlog right now, I feel a lot better. And that was only one day off so uh, I think I need to do a couple more uh, and start resting a little bit because I keep trying to do more thinking more is better more is better and in reality I need to do less adapt or die so to say and I'm dying right now so I'm gonna do less so vaulting went crappy really really bad but towards the end of practice and it was like what's the point of thinking like this isn't gonna work and then uh, I made it work. So I got a couple jumps at the end. Nothing pretty, but hey, you do with what you can do that day. Wednesday. I took the fabulous Carrie Meyer. To the <laughs> Science Museum. Yes, me in a, in a place with a GoPro seems to be a bad mix. Zoo. This is gonna get me kicked out of the Boom, got in trouble. Art museum. We got yelled at. I think she's just bored. <laughs> Boom, got in trouble. Science museum, doing pretty good. I even asked if we could use <laughs> video stuff in there. And they were like, Yes, video whatever you like. It'll be fine. So I was like, Great. So I started filming everything. I kept going up to uh, the dinosaur skeletons. For some reason, I thought it was funny asking, or, ask, or having them say, Mom! <laughs> Boo! Mom! Mom! Mama! Boo! <laughs> All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead, too. All my friends are dead. All my friends are dead, too. All my friends are dead too. But there was one where there was a skeleton right in the middle of this exhibit, and I reached over really far and pretty much climbed into the exhibit and had the GoPro right at the thing, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> this alarm went off, and I was like, Was that me? Did I do that? This old lady goes, and Carrie just walked away embarrassed. What just happened? I reached too far over the exhibit and it beat at me really loud and scared the shit out of me. I did <laughs> But it was a whole lot of fun. We messed around some more with some of this other stuff. And at the very end, these stairs and every step was a different note. 
So we pretty much played on those stairs for like a half hour or so, and it was fantastic. I had so much fun just jumping up and down the stairs. <gasps> Musical stairs. No way, that is loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got my workout for the day because just walking up those stairs, not even dancing on them, I was tired. So I knew I needed a day off. So I skipped weights on Wednesday. Felt terrible about it, but I really needed it. What was your favorite part of the science museum? <laughs> my favorite part is the elevator. <laughs> Cameras are not good for me. Mom, 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 mom. <laughs> then Thursday, the dreaded treadmill workout. I'm gonna win the treadmill workout battle today. It just hit me that I'm not technically supposed to be doing these workouts. I'm doing my in-season training. They're kind of a pre-season training. So, if I have to adapt and change them, I'm going to. But I'm not puking again, that was stupid. Right, here we go. Just got done through the first third the treadmill workout extravaganza. I feel like a million bucks. I feel like a steak sandwich. I feel like a Lamborghini. I don't know, I feel pretty good. It's because they're only at like six seconds and not 20 reps at a high incline at 20 seconds. Because my body's not ready to do that right now. <laughs> so a lot of fast, short, feels really good. You get after the second part. That's where the fun stuff comes in like bounding. My old nemesis. Easy. We're going eight at 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 31, 32. We'll see what happens. I'm not gonna go too crazy, because last week I threw up. Three, four, eight, four, five, three, three. Let's see how 21 goes. Three, four, Five, six. Got 21 with all my clothes on. That's what she said. <laughs> I dominated the out of that one. I, I was getting speeds up high. I felt good and fast through everything. I didn't throw up. So that was a positive thing. And then Friday, new clean I did PR. weights again. Let's see how this works. Big stretch day, and then took two days off. Felt really, really, I don't feel great again. I have vaulting in about two hours, but I'll let you know how that goes. I'm thinking it'll go better. We'll see. So I have been getting a ton of questions on YouTube. This is probably, I would say, 90% of my comments are about mental training of the pole vault. I could talk for about a month about just mental training. There are a lot of different avenues you can go down and a lot of different skills to help you train mentally. The question I'm getting a lot is, Hey Sean, have you ever had a mental block in a pole vault where you just couldn't do it? Yes, I have. It's when I was doing a longer approach and I was just like, this isn't going to work. And it didn't work <laughs> because I already defeated myself before I even ran, you know? it was this pessimistic approach to it and I have found more so within the last year that optimism is the key to happy and confident in life and the pole vault so um, instead of going back to the back of the runway now I'm just like well I don't know if this is gonna work I think it will though because I did this step and it worked, and 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 the one pole smaller worked, so now I'm grabbing this pole. Why shouldn't it work? All oh, everything adds up. It's going to work great. And I grab it, and it usually works. But if I'm at the back of the runway and I'm like, 
This is a big pull. It feels so big. I don't think it's gonna work. It doesn't usually work. I kind of took that mentality into the pole vault, but it stuck way more when I started doing it all the time in everyday situations. Instead of looking at, well, this is gonna taste terrible, or this is stupid, or this isn't gonna work, then it kind of happened in the pole vault. So I started trying to be optimistic about everything. Like if it's raining outside, instead of like, ah, it's raining, ah, it's snowing on my car, I'm gonna have to scrape the ice off, and it's gonna be crappy, and it's gonna be cold, I hate it. Ah. Instead I was like, oh man, it's snowing, this will test my driving skills out, or sweet, it's snowing, I'm gonna hit a stranger with a snowball. <laughs> or I can't believe it's snowing, everyone's gonna be going so slow, I'm gonna zip right by him. Or hey, it's snowing, it reminds me of Christmas, you know? You just have to tweak the way you look at things, and everything starts to feel better in your head. I don't know how else to describe it, but training for the pole vault doesn't just happen when you're pole vaulting, it has to happen all the time. Like Your nutrition has to be good, your sleep has to be good, you have to drink enough water. Mental training, you can do that all the time. Optimism helps your confidence, your confidence helps you pole vault. So practice it every day. That's my um, advice for mental training. I'll probably talk about this more because there's a lot of things you can do. And I have a whole book. This book is awesome. It has a lot of good tips in it for mental training and sports. So check it out. I recommend it. Thank you again for everybody who has given me such positive support. And please subscribe and share these. I like watching the numbers on YouTube get bigger from week to week. Um, my next couple meets, I'm going to do one meet this weekend at the U of M. And then I'll do Indoor USA TF Championships. And then after that, I have no idea what I'm doing for outdoors yet. <laughs> Minnesota, it is cold. And there's not a lot of outdoor meets. And I am poor and don't have anywhere to travel to. So I'm going to have to wait a little while until it starts to get nice outside. Or hopefully get invited someplace. See you later. Woo! <laughs>